We never, ever do nothing nice and easy. We always do it nice and rough. Tina Turner. From Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Ike and Tina Turner perform their United Artists album. What you hear is what you get. Do you like good music? Sweet soul music. Long as it's swinging. Yeah, yeah. Get out here on the floor, y'all. Oh, dance into a go go. Dance into the music. that we did at Carnegie Hall is basically uh, some of the same songs, songs that we do on pop festivals, like when we were with the Stones. Uh, we usually get good tunes and we keep them in the show to climax the show. You know, I've never heard it the way the public hear it before, you know, because I mean, we're always on stage and we don't exactly get what you get. The album sort of also makes you feel like getting up, getting ready to go somewhere. You know, I like, I like tunes like... Uh, like that, that makes you feel like I want to go out, you know, I want to have some fun or something. So just putting on tunes to sort of make you blue and sort of out of it, you know. It's, it's better to like sort of to yeah. break to good to pep you up. I said, don't you, don't, don't you want to get higher? Say you want to get higher. Hey, but let me light your fire. Talking about. I was shocked, like, when I heard the sound, because you, I was, we, we sort of made a joke out of it. Honky Tonk Woman at Car Carnegie Hall, you know, like, hey, you think of symphony music, you know, nothing like, nah, 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 storming out, you know. So then, later on, uh, when we were in Paris, we cut live. And I thought that was really great because the sound and everything was good. Like, there's no way till you hear the, you know, the Carnegie thing. And I felt like, oh, wow, you know. So then uh, when I heard the tapes, the response was really great, you know, the, the ovations, you know. This. So I, I think it, I think it, you know, the, the, the feeling of the whole thing came off good. But it's still like, sort of like a joke. Honky Tonk Woman at Carnegie Hall, you know, I think they should name the album something from that. I'm sort of a homebody, you know. People don't really think that. You see me on stage and, and you think one thing, but um, as uh, Ebony just did a write-up on us and it says, uh, so you think Tina Turner is all sexy and all this, but like when it gets down in real life, she's really a drag. I'm really a drag. I, I'd like very much to just sort of like enjoy my home, my family, and just, um, I've been doing it so long. You know, I'm ready, it's not like I'm ready to quit. When I'm on stage, I enjoy my work. But one wish is like to say, my housewife,
ladies and gentlemen, the Eight Cats. <laughs> First impression, and there he was. His suit fit in, immaculate, you know, because he was so tiny. He was like a model or something, you know, and I said, hmm, you know. So he's standing on top of a piano, and the band is really going, you know, and I felt like, wow, I'd like to sing with this band, you know. I've been loving you. which are his plans, is that the studio is successful, which I think it will be. And Ike wants, like for instance, when we were with the Rolling Stones, and, and Ike walked out and he looked at that place, and all those people, like so many people there, that the, the floor, the concrete floor was like moving, you know? He says, I want Ike and Tina to fill this place. 
Just like in Tina. Consideration. I never knew. I never knew. That, that is. is. Until I. Until I. Met you. Met you. Believe Please believe me, darling. Cause you made my life, my life complete. Now and now I know. This is gonna be a funny trip for you, man. Like, uh, well, I hope he is ready for this. Like, like, well, you know, like today, man, I think like people are searching for truth only. You know, like, uh, we, we, we belong to no organization. Black Panthers, the Ku Klux Klan's naturally, uh, <laughs> nobody. But it's like, I think, I think uh, it, today, today's kids, man, they have their own head. And it's not because uh, they wanna grow their hair long. Uh, because they want to do this. I think it's more like uh, uh, they want to. They want something that they can believe. It makes sense. All. Other words, when, uh, when I was young, whatever. My, my, my father was a minister. So then I said, well, like I'm not gonna be a disbeliever. or a believer of God. I'm just gonna throw it out of my head and go within myself and come out with what I think and what I feel that real, pure, and honest. Because before you can, before I can communicate with you, man, it's like I got to get into myself to understand you. And like the whole basic thing is understanding. Because anything you can understand is not complicated. Well, Mary, um, when the, the birth of that was, uh, I, I, the, the first time I heard the record was at a little, little very small club in Los Angeles. And I was, I was telling her just about this song that I really like, this lot of rhythm. I like rhythm, you know, just, just rhythm. And then finally I heard the tune. And so, like, we sort of, I said that I wanted to do it on stage, you know, and um, we just sort of made it our own, you know. I left a good job down in the city, working for the man every night and day. But I never lost one minute of sleep, and I was worried about the way that things might have been. But the big will keep on.
Thank you. 